please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you are notified when new videos drop. So I, I, you have to feel bad for people working in the entertainment industry in a creative endeavor, like writers working today, uh, uh, because they get told everything they do is the bestest ever and everything. And they're so valid. They're so incredibly valid. And everything they say and think is worthwhile, right? No, they don't need to work hard. No, it's just magic, right? Ma writing is just magic. You just write it, blah, 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 and magically you're good at it, right? So that, and that's really what, because they have no ability to uh, deal with anything, you know, anything telling them they weren't the best as ever. That's why they normally melt down, right? Uh, uh, so we see this in this article from uh, uh, RadioTimes.com about Chris Matigue. Now, it's really, I worked out the end of the article, it's to sell the novelization of Kablam. Like, really? You're not selling that bo bollocks, right? If anybody buys it, it's by mistake. You know that, like, what's the name of that movie studio? They, they make low-budget similar versions of movies that hopefully you'll buy by mistake uh, instead of the main one. Like, you know, your, gra your granny wants to get you Sherlock Holmes, right? The uh, Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock Holmes movie, right? So at the same time, they'll, they'll, re they'll rust release a cheap piece of crap Sherlock Holmes movie that looks similar on the cover, and they'll put it in there, and hopefully you buy it, right? That That's the only way! People are buying Kablam. It was shit when it was on TV. Uh, uh, but, you know, the only good thing you can say about Kablam was it was better than Praxis, his other episodes. So he's just not very good at his job, right? Because he was just told, you're the bestest ever, P. And he was basically the only one there who understood and knew anything about Doctor Who, let alone understood, didn't understand much. <coughs> so he's been asked, like, what about spin-offs? Like, no one's calling you, Pete. Literally no one's calling But you hear his delusions of grandeur. Right, but uh, throughout it's just it's insane. So I uh, I roast it a lot and take the piss. <laughs> I think that's just the right thing to do in this situation. I do. I think it's the right thing to do. You know, I like to be a good, loving person, and, and I think this is the way of doing it. It's just my 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 particular way of looking at it. Fine. Before we get into this, this was from my live stream I did last night. Our live stream every day. Come and hang out on our live stream. Five o'clock UK time, which is seven p.m. for me, way past my bedtime. Five o'clock UK time, and uh, uh, was it? At noon on the east coast of America, 9 a.m. on the uh, on the best coast and the west coast over there. Usually the best coast. It's the best coast if you like human feces. Oh, then it's fan freaking tastic. But uh, uh, if not, maybe not so. Anyway, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, you can find me. I live stream onto Twitter, onto YouTube, and onto Rumble. Please subscribe to me somewhere. That really, really is very, very helpful. On uh, uh, Rumble's really the best thing for me. But whatever works for you, baby. Whatever works. Oh, yeah. I'm a giving person. I don't mind. I don't mind how you serve me. <laughs> actually, I do. <laughs> I take that. No, actually, I do. I do. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment. If you comment, I will endeavor to reply to you. Go check out the video notes. You'll find my links to everything. Um, we're currently on my YouTube channel. I think on my Rumble channel. Oh, on Twitter as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I also post onto Facebook. Videos. I don't live stream. I just put post videos onto Facebook. Uh, uh, I have a very very cool project that's going on right now. Uh, was it Doctor Who Millennial Rights uh, by Craig Hinton, who passed away? I've, I've totally forgot he passed away. Uh, uh, read by an AI deepfake of Colin Baker, and boy, do I love this technology! Right? Do I love this te this deepfake technology? I kinda. I kind of want to get uh, uh, voice clips of Nicola Bryant, who I know uh, does books on tape, so it's really easy to do, uh, and then get her to read, like, you know, penthouse letters or erotic fiction. But, you know, I I, I don't think I would. <laughs> I don't think I'll make it all the way through. I'll probably, like, laugh about half a sentence. I'm like, oh, oh, God! But, like, this is the sort of thing that's, that's happening now, right? You know, uh, uh, I don't think it's good that people like me have their weird, perverted inside of their brains made flesh and real. But, you know, as it's happening, why not enjoy it anyway, baby? Anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment, go to the video notes, subscribe everywhere. Uh, uh, everything's awesome, baby. Everything's awesome. Now we hand over to me from last night. Okay, Pete McTeague. Why? Why, why is Peter McTeague interested in upcoming spin-offs? Really, Pete? Really? I mean, I don't know. Um... If Russell can, can scrub the Jody stench off you, fair enough. I just want something good to watch, right? And, and can we cut down with the chicks with dicks? Please. Enough with that already. Uh, Rundin writes about new spin-offs on the way. 
Uh, massively exciting for time for Doctor Who fans with the sixth anniversary, uh, a new season and a confirmed spin-off. Or a confirmed spin-off, sorry. Well, not confirmed until we actually hear them and see them, right? Rumours swirling earlier this year of the Hooniverse expanding showrunner Rossi Davis confirmed that he will be bringing spin-offs back in some form. Speculation has been the focus will be on iconic monsters uh, series, including uh, Cybermen uh, and Dalek, or Daleks and Cybermen, even though nothing has been confirmed on that front. And no word of Daleks for anything coming up yet. They keep all that quiet, right? However, Pete Mateague, who's written various episodes of Doctor Who, including Kablam, weird, weird episode, right? That was a weird episode that kind of like, Hated Amazon but loved it at the same time. I couldn't work it out. It was like, yay, corporate slavery, good. And practice, oh, men kissing. Ooh. Uh, uh, and one of them was a spaceman. Um, uh, haven't been really, uh, I haven't really been paying attention to the rumors of spin spinoffs, but I think the Doctor Who show that deserves to be a much, much bigger uh, brand, which is obviously what they're doing now. Uh, he told, exclusively told Beat Radio Times. Again, it's not exclusively if nobody else is listening, right? I mean, like, I, I can't say I'm exclusively telling the Radio Times because more people are listening to this than they are the Radio Times. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Just call it the way it is, baby. It's just the way it is. Don't hate the hater. Don't hate the hater. Uh, uh, um, oh, I, I just checked um, uh, Rumble. Somebody in the chat is saying, Relish is saying, in Detroit... Lee Candy reigns supreme. The legendary Lee Candy is the greatest record store owner on planet Earth. He marched uh, with Martin Luther King uh, 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 in 1963 and, and voted uh, for Donald Trump in 2024. Okay, baby. Sounds good. I, I, I like uh, Lee Candy. Okay. Uh, uh, um, sounds good. <laughs> Can't give up. Mark the Vicar is there. How you doing, Mark the Vicar? Uh, uh, stick the blue race plate. Oh, yeah, so what's, he, so what's his plans? Scope is enormous. Oh, it's so big. It's so big. How can you fit it all in? Oh, Pete Uh, um, you can do, uh, uh, you can do kind of thing, you can do kind of anything with it. That's true. That's the that's the point. Uh, what I'm trying to do with the, the short films that I write and direct for the class, they're not short films. Oh, they're not short films. Will you stop sucking your own dick? They're not short films. They're ads. And they're reasonably shit. I mean, it's nice seeing Joe Grant, but I mean, it like, oh, hi, we're lesbians. What's the smell of fish? Uh, uh, nothing. Uh, da, 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 da. With the uh, <laughs> with the short films, I write, fuck off. I remember after I did Citizen Kane and before the Bridge Over of the Quiet, I did the one with Perry. <laughs> Fuck my short films. Oh, you pretentious cunt. I mean, I would say uh, some episodes of Comic Book Present are short films, right? It's short films. Fuck off. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, they're not short films. That's just funny. It's funny and sad at the same time. Okay, okay, let's get back to it. Uh, um, make each other short films. So stop calling them short films! Uh, uh, a mini spin-off uh, in its own right. No, they're not! Uh, there's so many great characters and monsters. No, they're not in the show. Um, there's great... Can I find the video of the, the one from Perry? That's it. Video file. It'll be in. Um, hang on. Where did it go? I can't find it. Oh, there we go. Doink. It'll be in one. <sighs> Which season do you think? I think so. short films. What do you fuck off with your short films? Uh, uh, I think it was in the Troll of the Time Lords one. Let's see if I can find it. <laughs> it a short film. I'm still like, really? Oh, I don't want to take the piss, but really? It's very hard not to take the piss, mate. I'm, it really isn't. It really is. Uh, behind the sofa, Bonnie Langford conversation. That was good. 
French and Saunders, open air loss, uh, making of uh, blah, blah, blah. No. Not in the ultimate foe disc. Let's go to Terror of the Vervoid. Could be on Terror of the Vervoid. Uh, no, maybe it didn't rip it because I'm like, who gives a shit? I didn't know I was supposed to rip the short movie. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> uh, no, don't sit there. So let's look at Mysterious Planet. Uh, cause I, I, you know, I just rip everything because it's easier. Yeah, I don't think I even ripped it because, like, well, because who gives a shit? Hey, you know, I'll just download it for YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. I mean, they're always like very old people, you know, in uh, unconvincing sets. Doctor Who season twenty-two, Blu-ray. Are you noticing I'm not saying, uh, 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 you know, short movie by Pete Mateague? Um, here we go. Turn on mystery. Yeah, one second. It's called The Eternal Mystery, I forgot. Uh, Eternal Mystery, how is Nicola Bryant still so spankable? I don't know. She's just sexy. It's like she's got some kind of like... It just seems like she's pretty up for going along with most things, right? I think that's what I think that's what turns me. Oh, and also very hot, right? But I think she's up for going along with just about most things. I think that's a, a, a wonderful trait on a young lady. Uh, um, let's look at these short films. Pete bloody fatigue. Uh, uh, that's a spin-off in its own right. The Eternal Mystery. Okay, so far it's... Uh, 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 don't get me wrong, it's nice, but it's all done on a, da on a laptop. And, and this is exactly the sort of thing you'll be generating by AI. Uh, um, does look like Yukonis is taking a shit on her, but okay. But look, it's okay. It's just an ad. Yeah, look, look, this isn't a short movie. One of my short films. This is a student, I mean. You there, stand. Don't be wrong, it's cute, it's nice. I mean, we like this stuff, right? We like it, but like, it's an ad! I said, stand. I mean, you would have thought they would have been able to get Denzel Washington or somebody for, you know, a movie of, of, of this stature. This memorial is off limits after dark. Explain yourself. Who are you? Still spankable, incredible, uh, absolutely. I mean, still a uh, uh, hundred percent doable. What do you know of the warrior queen? That she likes spandex. She was mightier, even than the king. A uh, what? What was shot? That she ruled with both steel and compassion. I thought I was going to say left one and the right. <laughs> and that she brought peace and prosperity to our. Unless that's what she called a book, a book, steel and compassion. People. With, with her wonderful boots. Wow. <laughs> What's your name? Rex, my lady. Captain of the Palace Guard. Well, you can call me Perry. Or Queen. It's up to you. How is this possible? You, you... It, 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 again, it, uh, um, okay. It's like you should just pop it. Vanished when I was a child, just after the King's passing. You are the eternal mystery. Oh, I like that. Yeah, she's just sexy. I understand how. I mean, she's nearly S70. Only don't tell anyone the ending, okay? I don't know the ending. You didn't need a figurehead anymore. But I come back every year. Yeah, this isn't a spin-off in its own right, Pete. Okay? 
Let's get a grip, darling. Let's get a grip. To remember. Learn to wear a katana kiss, says Petey, who will know. And to keep an eye on you lot. How did you cross the perimeter unseen? I had a little help. And, and, and the TARDIS does not very good there either. It looks flat. What is it? It's kind of like a magic door. And where does it lead? To adventure. <laughs> yeah, and then look, let's be fair. This is Amazon season 23. Doctor Who, the collection. Hello. Hi. She's. Yeah, it's uh, 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 okay. I can't calm down there, Pete, mate. As it, does, it goes on a bit, doesn't it? After this, after they actually get into selling the thing, right? Oh, this is what I'm gonna get, right? Hey, fun little intro. Uh, uh, oh, where was it? Oh, Perry looking good. Perry looking good. Uh, uh, up more. Hang on. I used to dream of ex I mean, is this a seek? Is this a uh, the sequel? Uh, uh, the uh, Eternal Mystery 2, still not solved. Exploring the universe. Doesn't have to be a dream. My stepfather says I should stay where I am, in my place. He thinks me disloyal. He's an idiot. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> the elders say that you had many adventures before Christ. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm sure he's a nice kid, but he's like, again, he's not like... Uh, uh... I don't get the uh, a young Lawrence Olivier vibe of it. I don't even get a young Tom Hardy, right? Or uh, uh, Andrew Gillen, right? It's just like, I don't see him ever going to be making it, all right? Unless he gets very lucky and he gets into a sitcom or something. I just don't see it happening for him. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. On tap, that your companion was a man of rainbows. <laughs> okay. He'll get a kick out of that. <laughs> Perry. Oh, keep your spats on, Rainbow. That's your bunk up. You want to see something cool? Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh boy. Oh, see now. Now we're into the. Now we're into a short film. You can make it a long one. Down, 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 down. After dark with Perry. <laughs> Oh, Milfy Perry is so hot. I'm sorry. Okay, that's that's what. Okay, that probably one of the best uh, uh, threes as I can imagine. Milfy Perry and Young Perry. Oh. Now that's a spin-off. I want to know more about in virtual reality. Uh, 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 made very well. Nick. Yeah, it feels started. Flanagan, ah, oh, you better remember that name because you're never hearing it again. <laughs> okay, now we understand short films. Uh, uh, we're up to, um, uh, I think every, where, where, where was I up to? Scope is enormous. Uh, uh, short films, video episode of whatever, blah 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 blah. I can't take the piss anymore. Uh, um, there's so many characters, so many monsters. It's a great show. There's 60 years uh, of, of history to cherry pick through. Uh, I think the spin offs are only limited by uh, what they can commission and the budgets are. I think you're probably right. Ruins out the spin offs focusing on iconic monsters, he added. There are also, there are so many monsters you can do uh, great spin offs with. Uh, obviously, the Daleks, they kind of, oh, really? Oh, mate. You are brain trust, aren't you? Blimey. Why don't you do a, a, a mini film about that? A short film. Short film. A short film by Peter Matisse. Uh, 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 Purcell! Purcell for you! <laughs> Purcell for you, Washi! Uh, 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 a short film by Peter Matisse. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, that would be a great choice. Wow! How'd you come up with that, mate? For, that's why you get the big bucks. 
Uh, that's why you can get Leo Flanagan, okay? Because you have uh, 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 casting. <laughs> you have ideas like that. You're, yeah, you're doing good, mate. Uh, uh, would be a great choice. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, I had ideas of loads of sp uh, spin-offs uh, which would involve monsters that I don't want to say because you don't know what might happen. Okay, if it's uh, um, Tim Shaw, it's not happening. It's not happening. Pete Mateague also made it clear that he was ready to return to Doctor Who in the future. I'm ready for a job. I'm ready. I'm ready. I will. Yes. Uh, 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 I'm gay now. Yeah. I'm a girl. Which makes me straight. Yeah, I'm gay. I'm a gay girl. Uh, uh, now. I don't dress like one. Why? Don't judge me. Can I have a job? Um... Uh, but it wasn't made clear. Uh, I think right now is the most excited I've ever been about the show. Well, compared to the old tour, Jadira. Yeah, you you got your skank off it. They're trying to scrub off it. I just are not trying to hope scrub, scrub off your skank with chicks with dicks. Okay, just stop with the chicks with dicks. Uh, uh, I think uh, uh, everything is so on point, including the chicks with the dicks. Uh, uh, I think they're doing an incredible job. Well, again. Compared to you, it's not hard, right? Uh, and there's this uh, buzz about it again. Oh, I wonder why. Uh, which is crazy because it's still six months away. Okay, that's my wife called. I'm scared to pick up. <laughs> we, we, I, I will uh, uh, finish this article and call back when it goes on for a while. I might be in trouble. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'll give, give that one. I'll, I'll just wait for a few more minutes. Think. I'm not the dumb dumb with Doctor Who. I don't think I ever will be. Uh, uh, done with Doctor Who. It's in my blood 24-7. Yeah, you can buy books. Don't worry. I've not even scratched the surface with uh, what I want to do. Uh, a show taps each other day. I saw Jinx Monsoon in my street the other day and Millie Gibson in my co-op. There's loads of things. Oh, fuck off. Uh, Kablam was, uh, which saw Doctor, fuck off, Jody, Yaz, and Ryan and Graham encounter a galaxy-wide service uh, with robotic force with catastrophic uh, consequences, forms one of the Doctor's new target. Oh, fuck off. That's what they're trying to sell. No, I'm not buying your piece of shit with Jody on it. Leave me alone. Uh... My name's Leela Beck and you rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop.